live from the Guadalajara capital, this is the GBN Television News. GBN, covering you from the Grenadine Island chain to Brooklyn, New York, via the World Wide Web on www.gbn.gb. The news headlines comes to you compliments. Nexa Credit Union, with you wherever your road leads. But when you need someone to help you to your feet, I'll be that beacon to your highest peak. Oh, I'll be right next to you, no, I will never leave. Come on, take my hands, we got everything we need. Cause you can look to me, whenever you're in need. Just call on me and I'll be on my way. I'll be by your side, never to divide. The light that shines on. Nexa Credit Union, with you wherever your road leads. From the Grenadian capital, this is Network News for Monday, May 1, 2023. In the headlines, workers clamor for salary increases during May Day rally. Police confirm two injured following stabbing at Reservoir Jam. Grenada's former ambassador, Oleg Fah, removed a CBI marketing agent. Regional East St. Lucia's Prime Minister says the country's budget seeks to strengthen law enforcement to fight rise in crime. Internationally, battles continue despite ceasefire in Sudan. Plus in the sports news, Karani James places second at 2023 Botswana Golden Grand Prix. Hello everyone, I'm Ken Rivage East here at Television Center at the Grenada Broadcasting Network. Details right after this. The first segment of the news comes to you compliments. Soft weave, bathroom tissue. Have you heard about the new Softweave bathroom tissue with Total Hygiene? As hygiene and safety have taken center stage, a bathroom tissue is now manufactured with three different technologies to offer the best protection for you and your family. UVC light technology for a safe and effective disinfection process, eliminating 99.9% .9 of microorganisms. Also, production at high temperatures, killing all types of germs and bacteria. And it's pH controlled with delicate fibers to prevent irritation for even sensitive skin. Soft Weave Total Hygiene Bathroom Tissue. Available in supermarkets and shops island-wide. Visit Soft Weave Caribbean Facebook or Instagram pages for more information. Thanks for joining us. May Day 2023 is deemed a success. Trade unions and their members were out in their numbers with their placards marching through the town of Grenville, celebrating Labor Day in style after a two-year break due to COVID-19. More from Rena Pet Thomas. The Grenada Union of Teachers led the March Pass for Labor Day 2023 as members of the various unions marched the streets of Grenville, gathering at Progress Park St. Andrew to hear from the various union leaders and ministers. The first speech came from GUT President Jude Bartholomew, comparing the new National Party administration and the current National Democratic Congress government as his members cheered him on. Because I want us to see how God, how good God is. The same ordinary little man, the NNP cried down, mock and said he cannot rule Grenada, NDC can't pay pension. This is the same ordinary little man, the Honorable Deacon Mitchell, who restored the dignity of teachers and public officers and paid the pension and gratuity. Honorable Deacon Mitchell and his NDC administration did in their first nine months in office what LNP could not do for 30 years of their reign in Grenada. What is even worse, NP had all the money stored up in the treasury while workers and Grenadians were going hungry and living in poverty. But you know what? There is an old saying, fools make money and wise men spend it. On 
the other hand, the Public Workers Union President Brian Grimes was not so favored by some workers as part of his speech led union members to boo him. On the treatment of our women folk from the sisters. <laughs> Morale and trust. I love the noise. Bring it. In 2021, on the media podium, I referred to the then at NMP administration as the most anti-worker administration in the history of Grenada. I do not want the passage of time to change my view as I believe we should move forward and not backward. Just at the end of the day's event, members saw the presence of Prime Minister Dickon Mitchell, just in time to witness the handing over of the winning trophy for best March Pass to the Grenada Union of Teachers. Labor Day 2023 was celebrated under the theme promoting the goals of labor enhancing workers' rights for security and equity. For GBN News, I am Rena Pet Thomas reporting. Meanwhile, GVN News spoke with workers at the Labor Day activities and some of the improvements they would like to see in the coming months and what Labor Day means to them. Here's what they had to say. I like to see changes of our pay basically, you know, we need proper pay. I believe that 4% and 5% is really good for people now in terms of how prices is rising. People need fair treatment in the workplaces, not just, you know, their security that they could get longevity, get loans and stuff like that. But they need their well-being, they need to feel happy, you know, they need to be rewarded, you know, for the different stuff. I think our managers' mindsets in the country need to change. We need to stop moving, we need to move away from this kind of slavery mentality where we, you know, penalize workers, but we know we reward them, you know, we encourage when they make mistakes, you know, that will bring a more productive workforce than, you know, you always feel like somebody in the back, you know, to crucify you. And that's one of the things that is really affecting our country's performance. Well, I find, you know, the wages is too low. So you want time? Yeah. Anything else? That, that's all I find. Okay, you know, like, like to bring all the workers, you know, and for the workers' rights, you know. Mm -hmm. It's a workers' something, and the workers unite, and I hope that it will be successful this year. And I hope that the present government will do something better for the workers. Thank you. Wages from the different sectors, wages for the poor working class will be very important. It's freedom, and it came from slavery, came from way back into now, and I mean, it's a love to see, it's a love to see. I really, it's my first, be, be honest, I, I, I saw it in the past, but first time I really taken part, first time I'm really into it and stuff, and I enjoy the vibes, I enjoy the moment. Workers' wages have to be something to be looked at. Um, you know, just things like that. Me, 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 the workers' rights and the privilege to express itself and the good and the bad that happen in the country. Wages have to change. God, you're not paying so much, my dear. If I don't change a little bit, you know, for a pound of sugar now? You know, for a tin of milk? 64 something for the nice little one just at the top of the bottle. You have to change the wages for the body can happy. Scores of Grenadians were dressed and ready to party on the weekend. However, the violent acts by a few forced police to intervene and call off a major event in Victoria St. Mark. The annual St. Mark's Day Reservoir Jam had to be terminated after reports of gunshots and a stabbing. An amateur video posted on social media shows an incident that sent party lovers scamper into safety. Head of the Community Relations Department, Superintendent Simon Douglas, told GBN that gunshots were fired at Shai Spa and a stabbing occurred at Reservoir Jam. The Rapid Response Unit of the RGPF was called in and the FET was shut down. Two persons were taken to hospital. The extent of their injuries is unknown. The Grenada Broadcasting Network is following the story. We'll bring you more details as they come to hand. First came the refusal of entry into Grenada. Now, former ambassador to the Russian Federation, Oleg Fire, has been removed from Grenada's list of international marketing agents for its CBI program. Who in this report? 
Grenada's former ambassador to the Russian Federation, Oli Ferrer, is no longer on the list of international marketing agents authorized to conduct business on behalf of the island citizenship by investment program. A notice on the updated website of the CBI program reads, and I quote, The Grenada Citizenship by Investment Committee advises that Oli Ferrer is not a licensed marketing agent, nor a registered sub-agent of the Grenada Citizenship by Investment Program. He is therefore not authorized to market, promote, or disseminate information on the program, nor act on behalf of or engage with current or potential applicants, or their authorized representatives, said the notice, which is dated March 28th. According to the CBI website, there are currently 59 international marketing agents in the CBI program. Prior to his removal from the list of authorized marketing agents on February 22, 2022, Ferrer was denied entry to Grenada and had his diplomatic passport confiscated by immigration authorities. His attorney, Kajintan Hood, said at the time immigration officials had not explained why. Shortly after the Deacon Mitchell-led administration took up office on June 23, 2022, all diplomatic passports issued by the previous administration were recalled. As of April 1st of this year, Grenada no longer accepts applications for the program from Russia and Belarus. These two countries join North Korea, Iran and Palestine as countries banned from participating in the CBI program in Grenada. GBN will seek a comment from Ferrer's attorney when normal working operations resume on Tuesday. Cherry and Blackman Stephen, GBN News. This is Network News on Labor Day. More to come after these words. It's faster and easier with Flow FastPay. Use your MasterCard or Visa and pay from anywhere. Log on to discoverflow.co slash FastPay and press consumer. Select your country and enter your account number. Enter the amount to be paid and an email address. Enter your credit card information. You'll receive a payment confirmation with the transaction details, along with a receipt to your email address. It's fast, safe, and easy. Blow, keeping you connected. Little girl, that was yesterday. I can't believe what they said. <laughs> She didn't. Mom, can you help me, please? I'm having some trouble understanding. No, no, are you serious? Mom, oh, can you help me, please? Can you all sit down and say that? <laughs> okay, then. Bye. Here. Yeah. Are you ready? Yes. Let's ensure that you are well prepared for this exam. Parents, you have a crucial role to play in helping to prepare your children for the CPEA exams. Help them or seek additional help so that they can revise the concepts they learn at school and give them a better chance to be successful and move on to the next phase of their lives. A message from the National Parenting Program, Ministry of Social and Community Development, Housing and Gender Affairs. This Mother's Day, give your mom the gift of music, love, and excitement with Sunshine Promotions Night of Love Concert featuring the incredible Christopher Martin, Sanchez, and Vaughn. But that's not all. When you purchase your Night of Love ticket, you will automatically be entered into our Mother's Day sweepstakes. Win a Samsung Galaxy smartphone and more. Each week leading up to the event, we will be giving away fantastic prizes contributed by our event partners, including gift certificates, product vouchers, and service vouchers. And and the best part, you can give the prize to your amazing mother or keep it for yourself. But remember, you must have a Night of Love ticket to win. So what are you waiting for? Get your Night of Love ticket today and be automatically entered into our Mother's Day sweepstakes. Visit GoToFed.com or any island-wide ticket outlet to purchase your tickets now. Terms and conditions apply. The NLA is giving you 
more chances to multiply your Playway winnings by adding Multi-X to your regular Playway bets to win up to five times more. Imagine winning as much as $1,200 instead of $240 with a $10 Playway bet by simply adding Multi-X. Place your Playway bets from $1 to $10 or in increments on your favorite Playway symbols or numbers. Then add the Multi-X option at the same value to win two times, three times, five times more or free plays. With Multi-X, you must bet the same amount wagered on your regular Playway bets for your winnings to be multiplied. Grenadians, value your dreams and win your way as much as five times more. With Multi-X added to Playway and watch your money grow. Must be 18 years or older to play. NLA, making your dreams come true. When I need shelter, warmth, security, I know you'll be there. Something in these moments lets me know you care. Maybe the way you shield me, maybe it's your smiles. And the way you tell me, it's okay to try. Now I'm invincible. I can pack my sack. I can take the long road. Cause it's okay to look back if I am scared I know you're there Arise Together there's no limit to what we can do Arise With no wings Fly Arise And we're so high Enjoy the view This is Ariza. Your financial freedom. Your future. A whole new level of convenience and comfort awaits you when you shop at Rise and Shine Supermarket and Hardware Supplies, Griffin Lane, Grenville. Convenient. Because we are open Sunday to Sunday. We're even at your service on public holidays. Comfort. Because we are easily accessible to the physically challenged. Free Wi-Fi is available while you shop. And bags come at no charge. Everyday low prices and excellent customer care. Adequate parking available. We supply everything you can possibly think of. Family and home supplies, fresh meat, vegetables, and personal care products. All brands of cooking gas at affordable prices. You can send in your order, have it pulled, or pick up express. GBN leads, the others follow. This segment is brought to you by Republic Bank. Home is easy as one, two, three. Thinking about your new home? Think easy. Think of Republic Bank Home Easy Loan. Think affordable. Think convenience. Think Republic. Home is easy as one, two, three. Republic makes home easy. Wow, that was such a breeze. Own your home with ease. So whether laying that first brick or purchasing an existing home, we've got you covered. Republic Bank will get you those keys hassle-free in no time. Home is easy as one, two, three. Apply for a home easy loan today for a chance to win a cash prize. Getting your new home is easy with Republic Bank. Republic Bank, we're the one for you. Terms and conditions apply. Rebecca Television Center, following a major fire at the Grenada Electricity Services Boseju plant in Karakou, which led to an island-wide power outage on the sister island Friday morning, power has since been restored to the island. Gwenla confirmed that electricity was restored to all customers in Karakou at approximately 8.30 a.m. on Saturday, April 29. In a statement, the utility company said following the fire, the Grenlec team worked diligently to bring two of four engines online to restore service to the island. While the engines are operating at full capacity, Grenlec advised that the significantly increased demand on the two engines can affect electricity supply. Meanwhile, Minister for Caraco and P.D. Martinique Affairs and Local Governments, Tevin Andrews, commended the workers of Grenlec in Caraco and P.D. Martinique. 
Minister Andrews also commended members of the Royal Grenada Police Force, who were swift in their action to contain the fire. He said the incident also demonstrated the need for greater planning and collaboration with other utility and telecommunications companies such as Nawasa, Flow, and Digicel. The minister highlighted the importance of the installation of fire hydrants at strategic points on the island. He said a much-needed second fire truck for Karakou is already in Grenada, awaiting the retrofitting of the water tank before it is deployed for service on the sister isle. Minister Andrews was supported by acting Prime Minister Lennox Andrews and Minister for Mobilization, Implementation and Transformation Andy Williams, who both visited the island in the wake of Friday's fire. Well, town hall meetings on plans to increase the minimum wage continue as the Wage Advisory Committee seeks public input. One citizen looking at the issue from the perspective of employers raised questions on productivity, working hours, customer traffic and rent, all of which affect employers. Those are headwinds that employers are faced and many, many more. You also has, I don't know if it was arbitrarily or it was something that was discussed, you also have an increase in the NIS. Now, when you all have those factors, employers have to deal with. To me, I'm getting a sense of employers' hostility. Where are the incentives for employers? He noted that increase in the minimum wage increases the financial burden of the employer, considering the recent increase in contribution to the national insurance scheme. Are you going to, when you do the minimum wage, are you going to decrease the employer's contribution to NIS? Are you going to increase, are you going to decrease, sorry, the employer's tax status? Are you going to decrease, let's say, if you are um, to pay taxes, you have to do what, 300,000 or more? Are you going to increase it, uh, decrease it to 150,000 to give the employers the incentive to hire and to pay more? Chairman of the Wage Advisory Committee, Dr. Colin Gilchrist, said the good news arising from the minimum wage discussion is that employers agreed that the minimum wage needs to be adjusted upward. But the sticking point is how high? Before we finalize any recommendation, we'll meet with them and let them know the positions and where things would be at and give them time for adjustment to whatever rates are agreed upon. So it's, it's, it's a conversation we are having with both sides and we are balancing both arguments and we are hoping to come up with a position that by and large should be, is, 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 is satisfactory and on the employer side, affordable. Other news, the Grenada National Council for the Disabled has clamored for a proper facility for years. Government now says this will soon be realized. The rest of the details in this report. Differently abled people want to live a dignified life, a fulfilling life, and a happy life. One way of ensuring this is by giving them every opportunity they need to thrive. Ensuring they have a proper place to learn and even make a livelihood is a good place to start. Development Minister Gloria Thomas, in her address, in observance of Disability Awareness Month, said having a disability should not mean being disqualified from having access to every aspect of life. She announced the construction of a facility to better assist people who are differently abled. Funding was secured under the Engender project to construct a climate smart facility so that people living with disabilities can be taught skills to provide them with opportunities to be independent and take care of themselves and family.
Governor General, Her Excellency Dame Cecile Lagrenade, is calling for the inclusion of people with disabilities in all aspects of life in our country, as they too have a meaningful contribution to make. Our country's success depends in part on inclusiveness, on drawing on the talent of every citizen. No person should be overlooked for who they are not or for what they cannot do, but cherished and valued for who they are and what they can do. Everyone deserves equal opportunity and equal protection under the law. She said every effort must be made to provide appropriate vocational and other opportunities to citizens with disabilities and remove any barriers they may face in realizing their full potential. Mutual respect must be extended to persons with disabilities if we are to be a truly fair and open society. During this month, we should focus on the abilities of the disabled and not on their differences. We should provide them with equal opportunities to participate fully in the activities of our communities. Our country's success depends in part on inclusiveness. As part of her message to declare Disability Awareness Month open, the Governor General commended the organizers of Intercall for including students with disabilities in the secondary schools meet. Disabilities Awareness Month brings into sharp focus the plight of people living with disabilities. It is being celebrated this year under the theme, Transformative Solutions for Inclusive Development. Cherry and Blackman Stephen, GBN News. Can you assist this parent hoping to find her son's lost toy? It's time to take a peek through the GBN ISO lens. A good eye captures all. GBN ISO is brought to you by Clavision. Life is beautiful if only you can see it. Clavision Eye Center helps you do just that. We provide expert service, classy eyewear, and cutting edge technology, all with a quality customer experience. See better, feel better, and look better. Meet us today at clairvisiongrenada.com or call 444-0055, WhatsApp 409-0055, or follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Clairvision Eye Center. Let's see life and the world with a Clairvision. Our citizen journalist tonight needs your help. Cassian MacDonald is seeking the assistance of the public in finding her son's stolen bicycle. The bicycle is painted blue and black in body with yellow, green, and blue spokes. MacDonald said they purchased the bicycle in Grenville for her son's birthday. However, it was stolen in the Hermitage area near the cemetery. She is pleading with the public to assist in any way as her son is only eight and continues to cry over the loss. Anyone with information about the whereabouts of the bicycle is asked to inform the nearest police station or contact her on 538-0840. That is 538-0840. You can use our ISO platform to feature your outstanding photos and videos or air your concerns. Send them via WhatsApp at 405-3052 or our other social media platforms. The Sports News, up next. What does it take to be an amazing woman? Lots of me time. Amazing women are classy, fancy, and a little sassy. It's the drink for me. Cheers. Sometimes you've got to show them who's boss. Alpha male? Nah, alpha females are more amazing. Cheers to secure in the bag. We make time for ourselves, for work, friends, and we certainly make time for passion. We're simply amazing. Amazing cream liqueur for the amazing woman in you. Gentlemen, this is the event you've been waiting for. The event of the century. It's the massive cars and cash. Mega Bingo. Sunday, May 7th from 5 p.m. Where? At the 
International Stadium. And this year, you can win not one, not two, not even three or four, but five Suzuki Swift Sports. I don't think I heard that correctly. Tell me again slowly. You can win five Suzuki Swift Sports. Yeah! Wait, come back. That's not all. Plus $25,000 in cash. No way. Tickets are $60 for one or $100 for two. This is crazy. Five cars plus $25,000 in cash. This will definitely be the event of the century. <laughs> Citizens Weather Guard Pro. For every project, there's only one Pro. Affordable quality products delivered to you via superb service. We are superb distributors, wholesalers, and authorized agents for trusted products you know and love, like Rika Juices, Pure Heaven Products, Bibin Diapers, New Bright Laundry Detergent, Allegra Pasta, and more. Contact Superb Distributors at 435-2948 for superb quality and service. games of the National Lotteries Authority, you are supporting sports, culture, and nation building in Grenada, Cariku, and P.T. Macnick. Hi, I am Junior Murray, cricket coach, sports enthusiast, and a former West Indies cricketer. I endorse the games of the NLA 100%. For the past 40 years, the NLA has been funding many sporting activities, including competition for schools and clubs, and for athletes to participate in overseas tournaments, such as the Carifta Games and the Regional Cricket Tournaments. For those reasons, I play the game of the NLA. Even if I do not win, I know Grenada always wins. Yes, when you play all the games, the NLA in turn supports sports, culture, and nation-building activities throughout the Tri-Island State. Hello, I am Petifer Lewis, the Executive Director of the Grenada Chamber of Industry and Commerce, representing the private sector. From where I sit, I can see how volatile both the local, regional, and international economies can be as a result of financial shocks, pandemics, natural disasters, among others. Having the NIS Unemployment Benefit Program is certainly a step in the right direction. This will help to alleviate the burden that arises from unemployment. Remember that people who are employed not just support themselves, but support family members as well. The NIS Unemployment Benefit Program will play a very important role in assisting our citizens to mitigate hardships while keeping the local economy stimulated during future challenges like these. This is a very good program, very good initiative, and I support it. Sporting fans, good evening. The Jaguar has done it again. Grenada has much to be proud of as its Olympic champion Karani James opened his 2023 season with a second place finish at the 2023 Botswana Golden Grand Prix. James, nicknamed the Jaguar, clocked 44.76 seconds in the men's 400 meters, finishing behind Zambia's Mazula Samukanga, who took first place with the Scotch in 43.91 seconds. It's a clip of the race from World Athletics. 
There we go, Sahiti Nine of South Africa did stay in his blocks, fantastic, all eight men sprinting around the top bend. It's a heavy stagger, Karani James out there in lane five, the tall athlete from Granada. Sammy Conga often looks like this, but he's strong in the closing stages. At the moment, it's a masterclass for Masula. Sammy Conga of the Zambia, he's striding away, leaving an Olympic medalist, Karani James, in his wake. The clock stops. 92 sub 44 and there is the trademark finish from Samu Konga. The Ministry of Sports acknowledged Karani James's achievement in a Facebook post saying quote we're proud of you King James well done ambassador. The 400 meter sprinter is a three-time Olympic and world championship medalist. Kimar Roach West Indies Kimar Roach took his 500th First class wicket on Saturday, another huge accomplishment in his already outstanding career. TTT News has the rest of the details on this one. The West Indies fast bowling legend reached a magical milestone when he had Will Rhodes trapped leg before wicket while playing for Surrey against Warwickshire at Edgbanston in the English County Championship Division 1. He ended with the excellent figures of 534 of 13 overs, his 22nd five wicket haul at this level as Surrey won by nine wickets. Sir Kirtley Ambrose, an icon of the game, lauded Roach for his amazing achievement and urged him to keep on going. The West Indian great said, I'm a huge Kamar. Roach fan and I enjoy seeing him bowl. I want to congratulate him on his milestone of 500 first class wickets. That's a huge achievement for a fast bowler. He is one of the standout fast bowlers in world cricket and has always been a top class performer. All right, that's the sports news for now. In St. Lucia, the Philip J. Pay administration in the 2023 budget is focusing on strengthening law enforcement and implementing social interventions to counter the rise in crime. In 2020, the Alan Chastney-led administration demolished the royal jail, which housed the police headquarters and custody suites, reneging on its word regarding dialogue with the National Trust following an injunction. The police force now has to detain suspects at police stations with limited jail cells due to the absence of a mass detention centre. In his budget presentation, Prime Minister Philip J. Pierre announced an imminent contract signing to rebuild custody suite. Repairs to Southern Divisional Headquarters in Viewfort. Contract was signed last week. Repairs to police stations in Canaries, Miku, Richford, and Marshall. Construction of custody suites, a project plagued by administrative delays. I'm pleased, Mr. Speaker, to inform you that a contract for the construction will be signed this week. Regarding the court system, the government will increase the allocation for legal aid and court-appointed lawyers. This move will help address the backlog of cases, ensure the rights of the accused, and secure justice for victims. We will begin the construction of the halls of justice to house the criminal, civil, and marriage court to eventually alleviate the congestion and poor working conditions presently experienced in some of our court buildings. 
consideration will be given to the enactment of legislation for judge-only criminal trials. The completion of the process of the ascension to the Caribbean Court of Justice will make appeal to the highest court more affordable and accessible to all. Officials also believe that the criminal justice system should focus on rehabilitation, particularly for young offenders in the juvenile justice system. An allocation has been made for the commencement of preliminary works, public consultation and designs for the conversion of the former George Charles Secondary School to a rehabilitation center. A crime and violence reduction project will be implemented to engage vulnerable and at-risk individuals in education and parenting. Strengthening of, com of community-based organization establishing mentorship, training, capacity building, and diversion options. Other interventions to improve national security include more training for police officers in modern crime fighting techniques, establishing a sheriff's office, increasing broadband with four virtual hearings at the Borderly Correctional Facility, and a targeted gang intervention plan. Gino Filippi, HDS News Force. Further field air strikes have pounded Sudan's capital Khartoum, despite a truce aimed at allowing civilians to flee. The army said it was attacking the city to flush out its paramilitary rivals, the rapid support forces. The fighting intensified even as the war inside said they would extend the truce by another three days. A rescue ship carrying nearly 2,000 evacuees from Sudan arrives in Jeddah, welcomed by members of the Saudi Royal Navy. On board are people from 17 countries, including Iran. We have a bad situation in Khartoum because war, uh, we don't know what should we do. Uh, thank you from Saudi Arabia to make a, a good trip with this ship to Saudi Arabia, and I'm very happy. Back in Port Sudan on the eastern Red Sea coast, thousands are still waiting to leave. I was among the people trapped for nearly seven days in Khartoum with no food, electricity or water. The conditions were very bad, but thank God we managed to leave and come here. Around 3,000 Yemenis have been stranded here for six days. They say they have no idea if or when they'll be allowed to board one of the ferries. While countries scramble to get their embassy staff and citizens out, intense fighting is taking place in several parts of Khartoum as the conflict between the Sudanese army and the paramilitary group, the Rapid Support Forces, enters its third week. Both sides say they're making gains, and both blame each other for violating yet another ceasefire. Heavy artillery fire could be heard in Umdurman, Bahri, and Khartoum on Thursday. Fighter jets belonging to the Sudanese army also launched airstrikes on RSF positions, as residents were warned to stay indoors to avoid getting caught in the crossfire. The RSF denies this and says it's taken control of an area south of the capital. The UN envoy has reiterated calls for a permanent end to the violence and issued this warning. Regional countries and the international community must say that if the situation continues, even if one side wins the fight, that side would not be accepted internationally. If a side refuses negotiations and refuses reconciliation, it will not be accepted internationally, regionally, and I think also nationally in Sudan. Sudan Doctors' Union has warned the health system is on the verge of collapse. This hospital is in the city of Umdurman. We lack medical staff and facilities. Our shifts have been extended, but there are only one or two doctors to cover two or three departments. In normal circumstances, this wouldn't happen, but now the situation is so difficult. With essential supplies running out, those who can stream out of the country, relieved to be out of immediate danger, but uncertain about when it will be safe to return. Hiba Morgan Al Jazeera, Khartoum. We'll be back in a moment.
This is the Grenada Broadcasting Network, a reminder of the headlines. Workers clamor for salary increases during May Day rally. Police confirm two injured following stabbing at Reservoir Jam. Grenada's former ambassador, Oleg Fair, removed as CBI marketing agent. Regionally, St. Lucia's Prime Minister Philip J. Pear says the country's budget seeks to strengthen law enforcement to fight the rise in crime. Internationally, battles continue despite ceasefire in Sudan. Plus in the sports news, Karani James places second at 2023 Botswana Golden Grand Prix. That's the news on this Labor Day. I'm Ken Roy Thank you for choosing GBN. Good night.